Emma Shedd, I'm the senior class president, and this is our video. On a fall line late night, underneath the stars we came alive. Singing to the sky just felt right I won't forget the good times While the punks started picking fights With the skater kids under city lights Remember how we laughed till we cried <laughs> like my attention span isn't gonna last this long. <laughs> I'm I'm I really need to pee. Okay. Do you really? Yeah, it's okay though. Do you I have a strong bladder? bladder. Describe Loretto in one word. Female. I'm not wrong. I'd probably have to say empowering. Beautiful. Tradition. Ah! <laughs> yep, that sums it up perfectly. Ah! Unique. Yeah, unique. Because like, where else are you gonna see girls crying over tests with horrible hair? What is the easiest part about senior year? Easiest part about senior year? I think everybody's just, at least to me, everybody's more approachable. And you get priority when you get to see Miss Johns. Right after you get accepted to a school that you want to go to, and you just know, like it's just easy sailing because like you're already in. Principles of technology <laughs> with Ms. Cobb. <laughs> what is the hardest part about senior year? Okay, the hardest part of senior year had to be Sanchez's class. It was really, really hard. And Ms. Singh's calculus class. Staying focused. Yeah. Acknowledging that I have to let go of high school. Everybody getting like, congrats on your acceptance, and you realize you're staying at U10. <laughs> Go my nerves! Just knowing it's never going to be the same again, knowing that we're all going to go our separate ways. What is your most embarrassing experience? Uh, most embarrassing would be almost throwing up with, uh, in front of Mr. Sanchez after eating the marshmallows for the tug of war. There was that one time in econ where I convinced everyone that I was a communist. Sophomore year, I had like, my Justin Bieber haircut, whatever. I fall down the stairs, <laughs> just face plant um, by the lockers, and nobody helped me. I was like, okay, like I don't know what's happening. And then all I was worried about was my Justin Bieber hair. I was just like, all right, I'm good. <laughs> Let's go on. Freshman year, it was during lunch, and one girl was going around doing weird stuff, and she licked my ear. <laughs> And I started to cry. Oh, there was that time I dropped Diana's like spaghetti all over the floor and then dropped my own spaghetti afterwards. Didn't you drop it on Bella? Or was I did. That, a different <laughs> that is your funniest memory. Uh, Halloween assembly freshman year. We had to go up for the group dance, and the only group dance was me, Paul. Oh, wait, Miss Bronco would get mad. Paulina, Jasmine Gonzalez, and I. And we were the Powerpuff Girls. So. We went up, Paulina hid behind the curtains, Jasmine stood there like a deer, and I did a card wheel. Basically anything I would say. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Prom, 2018, those are hilarious. <laughs> what is one thing that Loretto has taught you? To get ready in five minutes in the morning. Pass all my classes just for the theater. Loretto has taught me to be more confident. I think looking back at freshman year, I was definitely a very closed off, a very shy kind of person. But throughout these past few years, I think Loretto has taught me to really get out of my comfort zone and become really who I am. It taught me to be stronger, you know, like as an individual, and it taught me to choose people who choose you. So like, some people are like clouds. Sometimes they have to get out of the way so the sun can shine, you know? To not stress out. Everything will work out at the end. 
to, I don't want to sound cheesy, but like just to be yourself, like no one really cares, you know, if you get ready in the morning or like if you shave your legs. I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is one thing that Loretta has taught you? Spark notes won't let you go through <laughs> your English classes. <laughs> Hashtag Miss Franco. <laughs> we are strong, we matter, we we have the potential and the power to make the world a better place. And I feel like Loretto instills that so strongly in every student. And that's something that I'm so grateful for going out into the world. Name a faculty member or teacher that has strongly impacted your high school experience. I think the teacher that impacted me the most was Dr. Baca. I think her anatomy class really solidified my dream of becoming a pediatrician one day. Miss Ng taught me that I can do, well it's also like really corny, but that I can do anything. Because I went into her class, it was my second time taking Algebra 1, and I was so, I, I thought I couldn't do it at all. And she was like, no lady, just do it. And like she taught me how to kind of persevere over the like the negativity. My name is Glover. Um, I've been in, playing volleyball at Loretto since I was a freshman and throughout those years she just made me feel very welcomed and she was always there for me and for the other girls. My sister Buffy for me. <laughs> Not only for me but for my whole family. She's always keeping tabs on us and you know helping us when we need to and she's always there. Miss Melby really really genuinely cares so much about each and every student who walks into her classroom. And Mr. Hall he like impacted me not so much like as a teacher but like as a person like he he taught me how to think outside the box I loved Ms. Lockhart's lectures and I felt like everything she said was extremely empowering and she was just so like her intellect it always left me in awe and everything like she had to say it was so I don't know I was so like blown away Ms. Franco, Ms. Jensen, Ms. Fernandez, Ms. Camacho and Ms. Masarev have really really helped me through these four years like um they're, they've been literally angels sent from God like to me because without them I honestly don't think I'd be here and where I am today and who I am today. So if you guys are watching this, uh, I love you. Yeah, I don't really have an explanation for Miss Cobb. I just love her. She's so cute when she walks around the room. She's like, oh, what are you ladies doing? <laughs> oh my God, I love you. You're so cute. Dr. Oculina. Dr. I that sounds like really bad, but yeah. Well, not bad, but. Just cut that because I meant like <laughs> all of us were gonna say Dr. A, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. She, she was like there for me when she was the I most was reassuring like, teacher I've ever had. Yeah, you know, she'd, go, she'd go out of her way to make me feel like comfortable. Yeah, in her class. She always made me happy. And she like, also like challenged you like to oh, rethink yeah. things. A lot of things. Like, I learned so much about like myself and what I believe in like, in that class. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before her class, I was a captain. I'm a communist. <laughs> but Miss Ingle especially, because Miss Ingle is always there to just give me like the best advice whenever I needed it. Uh, and one of the things she told me that'll always stick to me to this day is, uh, you be president then. If you don't like how this country is going, you be president. For me, it would be Miss Johns because she has helped me a lot through the college application process and I, I'm always like going by her office just to ask her things. And truth be told, like, it was actually her that really introduced me to Vassar and that ended up being the school I'm going to. One that really stuck out to me um, this year was Miss Franco because, I, I don't know, I think she's just, she's such a fun person. But on top of that, um, the other day we had a lecture about something in Pride and Prejudice and she was talking about, she was just very real with us and she said, ladies, some of you are going to be single your whole lives and that is okay. And she was just ranting on how great the single life is. And I don't ever want to get married. I just don't, I don't. What will you miss most about Loretto? My friends. Like my whole class and like the memes. And the tea time, Mariah, the tea time. Everything and absolutely nothing. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna miss walking down the halls, but God, I can't wait till I never have to see it again. Because I remember, when I first started driving, I like got like the Google Maps app and stuff like that. And I, I come to Loretto so much that like on the Google Maps it suggested home and it was like 1300 Hardaway. And I was like, it was funny, I come here more often and I spend more time here than I do at home. So I'm really gonna miss the second home. Distracting Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> and the uniforms. TBH, I'm gonna miss uniforms. 
Yeah, honestly, I'm not looking forward to picking out my own clothes yeah, every day. Yeah, I've been in uniform since, like, I'm first so grade. glad Hawaii Pacific University is, like, a nudist community. <laughs> and I won't be needing to pick out any clothes. I think for me, it's, it's in the little moments. Um, for example, the other day, um, when Ring Rose practice, every, I don't know, someone was airdropping all these memes, and then another person was, like, yelling, but it funny. It was me from New Orleans. Oh my god. <laughs> so, and there was just all of this chaos going on at one time, but I've never felt so at home in those moments. Do you have any advice for the upcoming seniors? Um, the admission process can be fun if you make it fun. Um, go visit the colleges, like absolutely go visit them. I lost my opportunity to visit like two colleges that I really wanted to visit. So just check those fly-in programs, do your applications early, and try and avoid procrastinating because although it's tempting once you get into the habit, you really, it's basically impossible to break out of. Don't let anybody tell you you have to go to a school in Texas, because you don't. You don't have to go to a school in Texas. You don't have to say, I mean, if you want to, great, but don't let that be, if you feel like you want to go somewhere out of state, don't feel like it's too far, or it's too much money, because St. Edwards and Loyola have the exact same price. Price tag. They're both private Catholic schools. Do your college apps early, because <laughs> that was one mistake that I did, and um, just push through, push through like the whole year. Do your essays in the summer, so you can already have them done, and that way you could just focus on like the short answers and all that other stuff. For the applications, try to finish them early, and it's gonna be okay. Don't worry, it it's all gonna turn out okay. You may not get into the college that you want, but like maybe that's just God's plan for you. You know, everything everything is there's a reason. To be persistent, though the work is really hard right now. I think if you keep pushing and keep trying, you'll be able to make it. Well, Don't plan time. the AP test after Ring Rose, and if. I mean, just don't do that. Make Thomas move it for like before or after Ring Rose because you're going to be dead. That the year will pass by really fast and you won't even notice. So make friendships and be happy all the time. Be excited for college. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> be happy. <laughs> Asking the seniors for their physics notebook? Yes, I do have advice for the upcoming senior class. And that is to know that your blessings are way bigger than what's stressing out. Stress oh, stressing you out right now. Oh, no, I'm right. I'm like, okay, I'm so bad at this. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Stressing you out. Okay, okay. Prioritize, like, yourself and, like, don't let things overwhelm you. Like, everything will work out and it's just a lot to handle at once. <laughs> it just kind of all bombards you and you feel overwhelmed, but just really prioritize yourself and what you want to do. If you're going to take APR, make sure you do all of your art on time. <laughs> I'm struggling with that at this moment, so. And she's a really good artist, so. Let's stop it. <laughs> so. I think that's all. Cool. Okay. Yay. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Honestly, like, don't stress. Like, just everything happens for a reason, so like you're gonna go to college somewhere. It doesn't maybe not be your first choice forever, but it's gonna happen. Have time for other things. Go visit your grandparents. Go hang out with some friends that you haven't talked to in a long time. Go have coffee with someone that you want to talk to. Just make those connections and learn how to balance it a little bit more. Don't stress because I stressed a lot and I'm going to UTEP anyway, so. <laughs> You're probably going to Utah. <laughs> You're probably going you need to freshman year. Ah, no, I'm not going to Utah. Brids did our, no, I'm just kidding. You dream, dream big, freshman. Don't forget to live out your year. Like, I know you get caught up with all your grades and all the SATs and the college applications, but don't forget all the traditions. Don't forget to, to live a little. Still do your work. Still try your hardest, of course, but senior year you've worked hard now's your time to reap the, the rewards to just relax to enjoy the ride don't freak out too much about college or applications or stuff like that do you have any advice for the upcoming seniors yeah actually drop out <laughs>